गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सर डॉक्टर कीर्ति असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फिजियोथेरेपी डिपार्टमेंट सो टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइटनेस एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्चो सो टाइटनेस कैन बी डिफाइंड एज एन अडाप्टिव शॉर्टनिंग ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्टल एंड नॉन कॉन्ट्रैक्टल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मसल लीडिंग टू रिस्ट्रिक्टेड रेंज ऑफ मोशन एंड टाइटनेस इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट फैक्टर टेंडिंग टू मेनटेन द पार्ट इन फॉल्टी अलाइनमेंट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ पोजिशन ऑफ द बॉडी एंड now uh, the muscles uh, which are prone to tightness are levator scapulae pectoralis minor upper trapezius rhomboids rectus spinae rectus abdominis hamstring gracilis vastus lateralis tfl uh, rectus femoris quadratus lumborum piriformis and gastrocnemius uh, next we are having the tibialis posterior short hip abductors uh, iliosvas and then uh, pectoralis major scm scalene what is neural tissue tightness it results from acute compression chronic repetitive microtrauma muscle imbalance joint dysfunction poor posture which can create uh, the morphological changes in them leading to pain so basically pain causes muscle guarding and spasm to protect the uh, or we can say to protect the inflamed neural structures and this alters the normal movement pattern eventually neural fibrosis result which decrease the elasticity of neural tissue and prevent normal movement within surrounding tissue so next we are having what is contracture it refers to degree of shortness resulting from marked loss in the range of motion so what are the causes of contracture it could be due to fibrosis of tissue disorders of muscle fiber inherited disorder or injury or nerve damage or reduced use that is immobilization so there are types of contracture like myostatic contracture pseudo myostatic contracture arthrogenic periarticular contracture fibrotic contracture irreversible contracture so basically in myostatic there is no specific pathology uh, but muscle tenderness unit uh, has shortened and there is significant loss of range of motion which can be resolved with stretching Simo, uh, pseudo myostatic or apparent contracture there is limited range of motion hypotonicity associated with cns there is muscle spasm and tear arthrogenic contracture it is the result of intra articular pathology and uh, which in, include changes like adhesion synovial proliferation joint diffusion irregularities in articular cartilage osteophyte formation and then periarticular contracture a periarticular contracture develops when connective tissue cross or attach joint or the joint capsule lose mobility thus restricting the normal arthrokinematic motion then fibrotic contracture uh, it fibrous changes in the connective tissue of muscle periarticular structure can cause adherence of these tissues and subsequent development of fibrotic contracture it is possible to stretch a fibrotic contracture and eventually increase range of motion and it is difficult to reestablish the optimal tissue length then last we are having the irreversible contracture the permanent loss of extensibility of soft tissue which cannot be reversed by non surgical intervention may occur when normal muscle mass and organized connective tissue are replaced with a large amount of relatively non extensible fibrotic adhesion and scar tissue or even hetero topic bone these changes can occur after long period of immobilization of tissues in shortened position or after tissue trauma and the subsequent inflammatory response thank you